Hello, this is Vitualist of Chess New, learning and having fun with chess. Every now and then you experience a position in a game of chess that is beautiful. The game I'm going to discuss today started in the most prosaic of ways, a very standard Italian, the Guaco Piano, or Knight's Game. And yet, only a few moves later, I entered into a geometrically beautiful line with mating three, starting with a double check. So let's have a quick look at the game. The game review first. Um, this is what the algorithm thinks. So the Guaco Piano, generally very, very equal. And then the opponent makes some errors and blunders, which then leads to uh, leads to the uh, leads to this uh, this beautiful line. Let's go to analysis and have a look at the game. So I played black and the opponent white. So they start, of course, with e4, e5. Uh, they developed their bishop first to c4. I developed my knight to c6. The opponent develops their knight. I develop my bishop uh, and then knight and knight. So at the moment, it's the guaco piano for knight's game or the quiet game uh, in the Italian. Castles, castles, and we are now we are now completed our development. Now the opponent here um, thrusts into the center with d4. Now that doesn't really make sense, given that I can capture back. They can't really capture since I can I can take the knight back, and the queen cannot capture given I have one last defender. Um, so I take the I take the. I take the pawn. Uh, the opponent decides to capture with the knight anyway, which is not exactly clear why they chose to do that. Uh, here, I decided to capture with the knight rather than the bishop. The opponent uh, moves their knight to d5. Um, uh, however, that's not really a threat, given that the queen is here and it's defending, uh, it's defending uh, those two squares. Um, you know, the attack here doesn't really make sense. The attack here doesn't really make sense. Uh, and this pawn is now also hanging. So I was happy to oblige to capture. Uh, and the opponent now makes their critical blunder, which leads to this potential line, if I would see it, and I did, a mate in four. Now, this move critically weakens the defense of the king. And what I saw here was um, a very potential, beautiful double check. So check with the knight, check with the bishop. And what that means when there's a double check is that the king can only move. Um, neither of these pieces can be captured or blocked because the other piece is still providing, uh, is still checking the king. So the king is forced to move to h1 and and now there is the move either here or here um, where the king is put in check a second time. And the king cannot retreat back given that that square is still protected. Uh, so those squares are still protected by the by the bishop and this square is also still protected by the knight. And so the opponent has no choice but to capture with the h2 pawn. That allows for the knight to capture the pawn, placing the king back into check. Uh, and now the king has only one escape square, which is h2. And once in that position, uh, the queen comes to h4 with checkmate. Uh, GG, beautiful line of forced checkmate. Um, very, very, uh, very, very lovely game. Hope you enjoyed. This game was very unexpected for me, and I suspect my opponent. I had played the Italian, specifically the Guaco Piano, many times as a beginner. Little did I know that such a beautiful forced mate line would appear only a few moves after we had respectively finished the opening. I hope you enjoyed this game, and thanks for watching.